Today, there are two main ways of using GK Google Kubernetes Engine, Standard and Autopilot. Autopilot is a fully managed version of Kubernetes. That's been the recommended mode since 2023. In Autopilot, GK manages your nodes, including adding new ones, removing unnecessary ones, and deciding how to configure them. This reduces the complexity and operation overhead for our customers. Autopilot also applies security best practices out of the box, such as blocking applications requesting privilege access to infrastructure. These sensible defaults help secure your clusters while also increasing reliability and supportability. However, there are some really common applications that do require these elevated privileges, especially ones related to logging, monitoring, and security. In these cases, the applications need to be allow listed to ensure that they can run on autopilot clusters. Previously, the organizations creating these applications that we call partner organizations had to work closely with GKE engineering and product teams in order to enable their applications on autopilot clusters. Partners had no way of creating, testing, and managing their own allow list. So this was an effort heavy and time intensive process. We're proud to have recently launched a new allow listing process called self-service allow listing. It allows partners to create and roll out allow lists for their own applications with minimal intervention from GK engineers or the product team. To start off, I'm gonna play the role of a user of GKE Autopilot, and Chris is gonna play the role of a partner organization developing an application. Let's say I want to run the Wiz sensor application on my cluster for security monitoring purposes. However, this application requires several elevated privileges, such as a root access to the underlying node. And for that reason, it's blocked by default on Autopilot. Let's try to install it with Helm using some placeholder values for simplicity. Luckily, Wiz's Helm chart includes a flag to install an allow list along with their application. If we pass this flag, then the application installs successfully. How did this work? If we inspect the cluster, we can see that the Helm chart installed a new allow list synchronizer object. Another use case covered by self-service allow listing is that of private image mirrors. Some particularly security conscious customers, such as banks, maintain their own private registries of container images rather than using the publicly available ones. By default, if we try to apply an allow listed workload that uses a private image, it gets rejected since that image doesn't match the public one specified in the allow list. Here's the same Helm command we ran earlier except now we're passing the information for our private registry instead of the normal public one. Now, partners can specify a SHA-256 image digest in their allow list file. This way, any customer workload with an image matching the digest of an allow listed one will be accepted, even if the image path itself is different than the publicly hosted one. All we need to do is add the hash to the end of our container image. So we've seen now how customers can use self-service allow listing, but what does it look like from the point of view of the partner organization who wants to enable their customers to run their workloads on autopilot? During their onboarding, each partner has a Git repository created where they can upload their allow list for review. Suppose this is my privileged application called privileged app. It's a daemon set that creates privileged pods, which means that it's rejected by default in autopilot. Luckily, since Privileged App is so popular, I have already been onboarded as a GKE partner. This means that I can create an allow list for my Privileged application. Following the documentation, I can put together the following allow list file. As you can see, it closely matches the spec of the pod created by my daemon set and specifies exactly which exemptions my Privileged application should be granted. I also include the image digest for my container to enable customer use of the private image mirrors. After receiving the proper approvals, including a security review, I am now able to submit my allow list configuration. My allow list is then gradually rolled out to all GKE regions over the course of the following week. And now 
my customers can finally install and run my app on autopilot clusters. In this video, we saw how self-service allow listing can be used by both customers and GKE partners. So far, we've onboarded major partner organizations, including Wiz, Datadog, and CrowdStrike, among many others. We're all excited to see what you build with self-service allow listing. Make sure to take a look at the documentation linked in the description to learn more and get started. And again, thank you for watching.